I'm killing tasks on my Android today on App Judgment. App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to App Judgment, Revision 3's mobile phone application review show. My name is Ron Richards, and we've gotten a bunch of emails from viewers like you asking that I take a look at some apps that allow you to manage programs running on your Android phone, or more affectionately known as task killers. The Android operating system allows you to run apps in the background and simultaneously. This is great because you can be IMing with someone, then jump over and check Twitter, then check your email, and then go back to the IM conversation without having to shut down any of those apps. The downside, though, is that you can clog up your memory by running too many apps. Task killers allow you to see what apps are running and how much memory you have, and then easily kill any apps you don't want to be clogging up your memory. I took a look at three task killers, Advanced Task Killer, Task Killer, and Task Panel. I gave them all a test drive to see which one was worth the download. First up is Advanced Task Killer. There are two versions available in the Android marketplace, a free app that runs small ads along the bottom, or a paid app for $4.99. As far as I can tell, there aren't any differences between the two, aside from one having ads and the other lets you support the developer directly. Opening up Advanced Task Killer loads a very simple screen. Along the top, you can see how much memory is available. And under that, there are two buttons, one to launch the settings and the other to kill selected apps. You can see a list of all running apps below the buttons. Simply check off the apps you want to kill, then hit kill button, and boom, those apps are shut down. If you long tap on an app in the list, you can get some options. You can kill it directly here, or select to have it killed. You can switch to that app to go use it. You can add it to your ignore list, which will keep it from ever being killed by Advanced Task Killer, which is nice for apps you know you always want to be running. And finally, you can get details of the app, which just shows you the file name of the app. It's not very useful. The settings are also very simple. There's options to place an icon in your notification bar for easy access to the app. You can also select to have Advanced Task Killer auto start when you boot your phone. In the settings, you can also manage your ignore list. You can pull it up and remove apps or just clear the entire ignore list with one button. Advanced Task Killer is a good app and it does what it says very easily, but it didn't wow me. So I moved on to Task Killer, which also has a free and paid version. The free version runs with ads and lets you kill apps with one click. The paid version is 0.7 euros, about a dollar American, and lets you kill apps and have unlimited ignored apps in your ignore list. So a bit more functionality for the paid version there. Task Killer is very similar to Advanced Task Killer. When you open the app, you see a list of all the applications running on your phone. Tapping on one kills it. Long tapping on an app gives you a menu of options. Display, which is really switch to, and lets you switch to that app. Ignore adds it to the ignore list, and force kill, which kills the app. There's also a kill all apps button at the top, which could be labeled a bit better. By hitting the menu button and tapping settings, you can access task killer settings, which are mainly focused on customizing the display of the app. You can have big or small icons, a grid or a list, and you can choose to put an icon in the notification bar to access the app easily. You can also manage the ignore list here as well. So far, Task Killer matches up to Advanced Task Killer almost note for note, until I notice what set Task Killer apart from Advanced Task Killer, widgets. Task Killer adds to their functionality by giving you not one, but two widgets to choose from. The first is a bar that spans across four icons wide on your screen and shows you the icons of apps that are running. If you tap an icon, that kills that app. But you also get the kill all apps button, a quick glance at how much memory is available, and a button to refresh the widget. This widget is super useful, but it doesn't stop there. If this bar widget is too big for your tastes, you can install the second widget, which is just the size of one icon and is as simple as it gets. The widget shows you a number, and this is the number of apps running currently, as well as a color, which represents how much memory you're using. As you use more memory, the icon gets more red. Just tap the icon and you kill all apps that are running. Now, killing all apps can be dangerous. This is where the idea of an ignore list comes in handy. If you have apps you never want to kill, make sure you've added them to your ignore list before you start using a kill all button. So far, Task Killer and its widgets are definitely in the lead, but I've got one more to look at with Task Panel after the hot app of the day. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't say congrats to Google for the launch of the Nexus One. Ron is seriously considering an upgrade, so we'll keep you posted on that. Well, think of the hot app of the day as part of your New Year's resolution to help and do good with an app. Check out Cause World app. It's free and available for both the Android and the iPhone. Now, it's similar to Foursquare and Guala, where it recognizes your location via your phone's GPS. You see a list of places nearby, and you check in where you are. The difference is that those check-ins turn into karma points. You then use those karma points to donate to the cause of your choice. Now, I have some karma points, and will choose care for an injured animal. And my karma points will turn into money for the American Humane Association. Now, the sponsors of the Cause World app have donated money, and it's up to you to tell them where it will go. Very cool and good stuff. 
App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Thanks to Netflix for sponsoring this episode of App Judgment. With Netflix, you can rent over 90,000 titles online, including lots of Blu-ray titles with free shipping both ways to your home. Netflix plans start from $4.99, and as a new member, you can get a no-risk two-week free trial membership. Check it out today, www.netflix.com slash AJ. And remember to type the www when using this code. Now back to Ron and more on Android Task Managers. The last app I took a look at was called Task Panel. Free in the Android marketplace, there's no paid version unlike the others. Opening Task Panel gives a screen that has a bit more information than the other apps. There's a health assessment for your phone along with the available memory along the top. Then a list of icons, one to return to your home screen, a kill all button, and then an icon for each app that's running. Tap an app and it's killed. Long tap it and again you get a menu of options. You can launch it, you can add it to the ignore list, and there's a new option here to add it to the auto kill list. The auto kill list is something unique to Task Panel. It's a list of apps that you want to automatically kill once you turn your phone's screen off or your phone goes to sleep. A nice feature that I never would have thought of before using Task Panel. Task Panel also has a widget that takes up the same width as the Task Killer Bar widget, but is way less useful. You get a rundown of your health status and the available memory, and by tapping on the widget, it launches the Task Panel app. Way over on the right side is the word kill, which kills all running apps that aren't on your ignore list. All in all, it seems like a lot of space used for little functionality. So there you have it, three apps that all pretty much do the same thing with a few differences here and there. So let's break it down. Advanced Task Killer is a simple app, does what it says it will, and is easy to use. There's a free version that doesn't limit the functionality, and unfortunately it doesn't have any widgets, and the paid version is a bit pricey compared to the others. Task Killer's paid version is cheaper than Advanced Task Killer, and it's got two great widgets and some cool ways to customize the look and the feel of the app. But the Kill All Apps button isn't clearly labeled. Task Panel is the only totally free app of the bunch, and the app itself is the most refined in terms of UI. It also has a great feature in the auto kill list, but its widget fails big time as it takes up too much space and doesn't provide enough functionality to make it worthwhile. So what's my judgment? These apps are all really similar and all do what they say they'll do. If you're looking to save money, then I say download Task Panel, which will give you the most functionality for free. If widgets are your thing, then download Task Killer, as their widgets are tops. And what about Advanced Task Killer? It's not a bad app, but the other two offer a bit more to make their apps that much more useful. Don't download Advanced Task Killer. Am I totally off base? Is there a better Task Killer app out there I should check out? Email me at appjudgment at revision3.com and let me know. Or head over to our forums and tell everyone at revision3.com slash appjudgment, where you can also subscribe to the show and watch previous episodes. And don't forget to be our friend at facebook.com slash appjudgment and stay on top of all the app news by following us at twitter.com slash appjudgment. I'm Ron Richards, this is App Judgment, and I really need some more memory on this phone. <laughs>